perform the exercise ball slams. This is an awesome exercise. It's fun to throw shit on the ground. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do this the right way. We are gonna start off by showing you how to properly perform a ball slam. This is an awesome exercise and if you're doing it right, it's effective for your whole body and you will be sucking wind as you try to perform this. So, first thing, you're gonna set up in a squat-like position so your feet are about shoulder width apart. You can have a slight flare to your toes or your feet. You wanna keep your chest up and your abs in. What we're gonna do then is flex at the hip and the knee and squat down to pick up the ball. Once you reach the ball, pick it up, keeping the chest up, bring the ball all the way overhead as you stand up, and then in one movement, you're gonna slam the ball down and sink back down into your squat. And you'll just repeat that again. Grab the ball, stand all the way up, slam it down. On the side, this is how this will look, guys. So you're gonna set up in your regular squat position, feet are slightly flared out, chest is up, abs are in. You're gonna squat down, grab that ball, come all the way up, slam it down. Ball slam exercise, there's a lot of mistakes we commonly see people do when they're trying to perform this drill. And mainly that's because this is a squatting exercise and many people struggle with properly squatting. So the first thing we see people do wrong a lot is hinging at the hip versus flexing at the hip and the knee. So what they'll do instead of squatting down here in a proper squat position to pick up that ball is they're going to hinge forward at the hips and just bend over and pick up the ball. So their butt's kind of in the air, the chest is down, and they're not squatting. They're doing more of a, hitch, a hip hinge move. And you want a ball slam to be more like a squat. So instead of sticking your butt back and hinging at the waist or rounding and just bending over, keep the chest up, flex at the hip and the knees, chest tall, and reach down for that ball. So another common mistake we see people make is that they are too much on the ball of their foot versus the heel. So as they descend down into that squat position, they start to go onto the ball of their foot and they lift their heel up. And they may or may not end up on their heels as they come up. But doing that can produce a lot of stress on your knee. So you want to make sure you're wide enough that you don't go to the balls of your feet. And you want to keep the weight bearing down on your heels. So as you descend into your squat, drive the knees out towards your pinky toes. Keep the weight bearing in your heels and then stand up with the ball. Make sure not to lean forward and go to the ball of your foot. Another common mistake we see with this exercise is being knee knocked. So as they squat, they'll drive their knees in and versus out, like I was saying in the last tip. So after you're set up and you're descending down to the squat, some people will have their knees come in. Now again, this can be because of muscle imbalances and different anatomical differences, but what you want to try to do as you're squatting down, just like in a standard squat, weight is in the heels, drive the knees out towards the pinky toes. You don't want to be knee knocked and letting those knees drive in. So drive them out towards your pinky toes and then come up. And even as you come up, you want to make sure you're still bringing those knees out. So an upper body mistake we commonly see with this exercise is a rounding of the shoulders. This can happen at the descent part of this exercise, whether the ball's in their hands or not. So what I mean is when they're descending down, they may hinge at the hip and the knee in a proper squat, but then they'll start to round forward to pick up that ball. Or maybe they keep up right here, they bring the ball all the way overhead, but then when they go to slam, they round forward. So from the side, what would happen is they're rounding forward to pick up the ball, they come upright when it's overhead, and then they round forward and hinge too much as they slam it to the ground. So you want to make sure the whole time your chest is up, your rib cage and your abs are in. Stay tall, reach down and grab for that ball, keeping the chest up as much as you can. There may be some rounded shoulders, but don't let it happen too much. Come all the way up, and then as you slam, chest stays up the whole time. All right, so lastly, it is called a ball slam for a reason. You are supposed to slam the ball as hard as you can. It's not called a ball drop. So one mistake we commonly see people make is they'll go down and they'll get the ball and then they come overhead and then they're like, and the ball just dropped and then they squat back down. Bring it up. Or maybe they don't drop it from the top point, but they come down, they grab the ball, they get to maybe here, and then they drop it. You need to make sure that that ball is coming down with you and you slam it at the very end when your hips are descending in between your feet. So the right way to do this is here. You're up at the top. I slam it down as hard as I can as I'm descending down into that squat. That is much harder, as you can see I can't breathe, 
than just dropping the ball to the ground. Don't be scared to slam it. It is fun to throw shit. Slam the ball. The ball slam is a great exercise. It's a great conditioning drill. It's a great anaerobic drill. Just need to make sure you do it properly so you get the most out of it and you're safe. Make sure you get the right type of ball and the right weight of ball. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Make sure you pick one that you can slam up and down effectively for about 15 to 20 seconds at a time. If you find you have a ball that's too heavy and you're just muscling through it and your technique starts to go, go to a lower weighted ball. So, we hope you found that helpful, guys. Ball slam is super fun. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you for next week's tip.